Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really does help the channel out with the YouTube algorithm. And today we're going to be going over these two brackets here that I made for the Vario radar system from Garmin. Uh, they're 3D printed units that I designed and printed out myself. So let's do this thing. So as you guys know, if you watch my videos, I made a DIY mount for my Garmin Vario radar and uh, it fits on the bottom of my camber seat and I must say I'm absolutely in love with that thing. In fact, I'm so in love with it, I decided to go down the 3D printed uh, route to see if I could improve it and make it better and uh, make another one that's actually going to work with the uh, SWAT system or that little bag that goes underneath the saddle so it can also be used on my camber and my gravel bike. Because at the moment they've got those brackets, I'll leave a video to those also at the top there. They go on the seat post. And the thing I don't like about those uh, brackets is they're too low for me for the Vario. It fits too low on the seat post. Whereas the one I made goes right at the top and you've got maximum range and ability on the actual varmints, uh, Vario. So you're actually getting the best use out of it. What I have found in these months now that I've been using the Vario which I must say is my favorite gadget at the moment, is that if that radar is slightly pointed down, you basically drastically reduce the range of that radar system. So you want it as high as possible, as straight as possible, to get the best use out of your actual Vario. So leading to that, came up with these two uh, brackets. In fact, I had to print out about 14 of these things to actually get to this one now. And I'm still not 100% uh, happy with the one that goes on the SWAT system, which is going to, as I said, go on the Epic and the gravel bike. But let's go over to the workbench and have a closer look. So as I mentioned, I had to go through quite a few iterations of this to actually print out to get to where I currently am now. So, uh, which is actually these two over here. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm not 100% happy with this one over here yet, but uh, I'm still working on that. One or two little modifications. As you can see, there's a bit of an angle there. And depending on uh, what seat you use, uh, that angle is going to change as well. So here's the one that basically fits on the um, cam that I'm going to use now with a phenom seat. Uh, that's the one I use. And actually the most expensive thing on all of these things is this quarter turn mount that I have to get here. So maybe if anybody knows where I can get this for a little bit cheaper. At the moment I'm getting it from Amazon and they're quite expensive. So uh, I'd highly appreciate that. And this obviously all started with this uh, mount over here that I made. Which is the DIY one that I made. So uh, yeah, from there I basically developed into this over here. And then an extended one here which is going to go on the SWAT system. And as you can see if I bring the SWAT system a little bit closer here. It uh, goes on the back of those two bolts over there, bolts on there, there's a little bit of a step over there. So it goes over there like that, and then it'll mount on the seat. You've got a bit of a space there, so you can still undo the strap and get the tire out and everything if you need to. Now for interest sake, let's just see how much this actually weighs. So uh, the one by itself, the, actually the smaller one, Let's just put the little there. So that's about 24 grams minus two little bolts over there that's going to hold that in place. And the bigger one that's actually going to be used for the SWAT system, that's going to set you back about 32 grams. So it's uh, not too bad. As I printed this little bracket with 100% infill, let's see what it looks like if I cut it open. As expected, that's what 100% infill looks like. No layer separation that you can see in any way. So, uh, absolutely excellent print 
from a layer perspective. So that's what the 3D printed bracket looks like. It's on the actual saddle. You can see the bolts there that bolted onto the seat. And then if I just take the actual bar is here hanging here with the safety strap. Just take it like that. Ease out the way. Put it on there. That's what it looks like on the bike. So still got a slight tilt there, but uh, pretty happy with that at the moment. So guys, that's a quick look at the 3D printed little bracket I made over here. And it fits on a specialized Phenom seat. It's not going to fit on any other type of uh, seat. It's got to be a specialized seat that's got that SWAT system. It's got those two little bolts at the bottom there. There's another brand that also supports this. I just can't remember the name of it. Um, but the interesting thing is all specialized seats are not the same. The, I've got a power saddle and the actual angle at the back where the bolts actually sit is much higher up than a normal uh, Phenom uh, saddle. The Phenom saddle, the bolts are actually almost level. Whereas the power saddle, they actually at a bit of an angle. So uh, basically I've got to now make a separate one specially tailored for the power saddle and one for the Phoenix over there. But I must say um, I'm quite impressed with this actual bracket and the way it came out in the 3D print. I mean this stuff is pretty tough. You know normally when you think of a 3D print you think it's going to fall apart and it's going to be bad. But I, I must say the quality of this is, is actually quite amazing. This is printed out in ABS Plus and uh, I must say I'm actually quite impressed at how it came out. It's, it's, once again, it's, it's extremely, extremely strong and uh, I'd have no problem uh, riding with that for many years. And in fact, I am going to be riding with it for many years. So let me know in the comments below, would you put something like this on your bike? Would you buy a 3D printed part uh, like this and uh, put it on your bike? I see many people do sell these things on Etsy. So um, I was looking into it. Would you buy something like that and put it in a 3D printed part like that? I mean, you get ones like this. You can also put an air tag on it or something like that. But this is obviously just the basic one that I made. But um, as you can see, it's not a simple process. I went through many iterations of this to get to this uh, point over here. And this one is not 100% perfect yet. So there's going to have to be a little bit more tweaking to get that right. But other than that, I'm actually pretty happy with the way it turned out. But uh, like I was saying, let me know in the comments below if you use a 3D printed bracket for any part in your bike, uh, customized part, and would you be willing to buy something like this and put it on your bike? Because I must say my opinion of these 3D printed parts has definitely changed over the years as I started to make them. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. So guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.